That's why I'm a terrible YouTuber. What's up, guys? I gotta be quiet. My whole family is sleeping. It's 5 o'clock, 5.10 in the morning right now. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with a typical day. So let's do it. It is 5.15, we're headed. Uh, we have a swim lane reserved at 5.30, so we're going swimming right now. Right on time. Ready to swim. I'm done. All right, I love getting the workout in early in the morning. It makes you feel like whatever else happens today, already accomplished something. I love seeing the sunrise too. Hi, Rory. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you been up for a while? It's 5.30. No way. Seriously? Yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry. How many waffles do you want? Uh, two. Well, we skin and it helps it skin up. Yeah. Huh. The, the, the other stand up is really high. Uh huh. Yes. Get clothes on, okay. Ready, set, go! Go get dressed! Wait, wait a second. Get your young shit. <laughs> All right, so it is 8.10. We just got in the studio like 10 minutes ago. So usually what I do is I have a kind of to-do list for the week and then I'll kind of break it down to what I'm gonna do that day. So I had a good to-do list for the week and I, it's already it's Wednesday and I've already gotten most of it done. Uh, so that was like edit and shoot video, upload Etsy photos for the next sale, uh, pack up, I'm going to North Carolina at the end of March, so I had packed up some pots for that, get a bis kiln started, that's kind of like Example to-do list, um, but today what we're gonna do is we got to go to Mocha Monkey in a little bit But I always like to start by throwing pots if I throw earlier in the day Then I'll be able to like flip them over and get them maybe work like if they need handles I could maybe get handles on later in the day or for sure I'll cover them at the end of the day and they'll be ready for tomorrow Whereas if I throw later in the day sometimes it's a little more difficult to work with it so we're gonna throw a few things for the wood fire and throw some probably new mugs we're gonna start making up some boxes for the next sale, and then we gotta clean the studio, and we gotta clean the, we gotta clean a few things. Gotta clean out the garage, clean up my car. It's super nice outside, so we're gonna bike into Mocha. Um, we're gonna, we have some friends coming over later to play spike ball, so we might do a little sledding and stuff with the boys. We do that quite a bit when it's been nice in Minnesota. So usually I start out check email, check a few things, and then I get started doing pottery. Let's do it. Let's do some stuff. All right, so I know I don't have my shirt on. This is like 85 degrees in the studio. 
So I was sweating in my sweatshirt. I know, don't make a big deal about it. It's not a big deal. Okay, this is what I threw. A couple big vases for the wood fire, bowl for the wood fire, and then we're gonna try some coasters in the wood fire too, so. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more clay ready. I don't think I'm gonna throw it right now. I'm gonna throw it later this afternoon. Uh, then we're gonna get ready to go to Mocha Monkey. It's been a while since I've uh, biked with the camera. I mean, I've been biking a lot, but I haven't filmed myself. And this used to be like every day I would vlog and ride my bike to Mocha Monkey where the studio was, and then we'd do pottery, and then we'd ride home. That's really how the channel got started. So thanks for being here, everybody that's been here since then. All right, I made it to Mocha Monkey. Whoa. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Want me to make a drink? Yeah, I do. How's it going today? Going pretty good. Sam's office back here. <laughs> Alright, well, all's good at Mokamoki. Got a couple bills paid. Uh, drink some more coffee, and now we're gonna head home. All right, we're on our way home. It's beautiful Lake Waconia right there, and the beach and the park. Sometimes I stop in my home and just sit and look at the lake. I'm just kidding, I never do that. So nice outside. Oh, it's been a long winter, as every winter is, uh, but it's nice to finally get outside, do some biking. So anyway, we're back in the studio now. It's right around noon-ish, and uh, we're gonna take care of a couple things in the studio, probably grab some lunch, throw some more pots, and then uh, maybe we'll uh, play with the uh, kids outside a little bit. The days that I can get outside and get my body moving, those are the best days. Love those. It's not always easy in Minnesota. Whoa. That was super lucky. I thought that felt kind of weird.
Well, all right, friends, so we got our pots thrown, thrown quite a bit today. I just wanted to talk quick about why I am such a terrible YouTuber. And the reasons are is because throwing pots and making stuff and like being on the go, going to Mocha Monkey and coming back and working on stuff, that comes so naturally to me. Like I come into the studio in the morning and I just wanna make stuff and throw stuff and glaze stuff. And then when I have to like start thinking about making a video or sitting down to edit is probably the thing that holds up my process the most. It just, I really have to force myself. And right away, like in the beginning, the first year and the first year and a half when we were growing quickly and it was like exciting and fun and all the, ever, the ideas were just crazy. There was so much stuff to make. It was easy. Now I kind of realize that Making pots and throwing pots comes so naturally when I have to force myself to actually pick up the camera and make videos. But, you know, there are times when I have ideas like this idea about doing a day in the life and getting the drone out for the biking shots and taking cool shots, clips at the coffee shop. Like, that gets me excited. I've just been thinking a lot about that, about how you know, when for me, when I'm really, really excited about something, I get obsessed with it and that's when I do my best work. And that's when I, that's when it comes really easily. And sometimes I feel like when I force it a little bit, um, and I felt like sometimes I have to force this YouTube thing to make videos happen all the time, which that's not always a bad thing either. I'm sure there are people out there that it just comes naturally. Pick up the camera, start talking, and good content comes out all the time, but it doesn't always come naturally to me. So that's why I'm a terrible YouTuber. So anyway, I'm gonna try and attempt to sit down and maybe edit some video a little bit. At the end of the day, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, YouTube doesn't come naturally to me, but I do love doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing it, I'm gonna keep making videos. So today, you know, I've spent a lot of time throwing, which is really, I do love to throw. But any given day in the studio could be, it could be trimming a bunch of stuff, it could be glazing, it could be getting ready for an upcoming sale, it could be packing and shipping orders. So it really varies based on the day. Like, this is a typical day, but there's a lot of different things that happen in typical days. What's up, peeps? Yeah. How you doing? It's so nice. So nice out. Hi, Rory. No, we're gonna stay out here. Ah. Ah. Show me your teeth. Hey. Oh, all right. So it's uh, like three o'clock right now. And we got a bunch of stuff thrown, pretty much all the bats, the square bats, I've thrown all of those, so that's at least like 50. And this, I thought this kiln would maybe be cool enough to unload it. Oh. But it's still like 500 degrees. So I can't unload that yet, so that'll probably have to be tomorrow. But basically, there's not a whole lot more I could do right now. I mean, I could clean up, but I don't really want to do that. I never want to do that. I'm going to clean a bunch tomorrow. Uh, but basically, we're at a good stopping point right now, so we're going to go outside and hang out with family a little bit. And then we'll come back later, flip all these pots over, all the mugs that we just threw. Um, so, yeah. You what? Yeah, what are you I'm videoing you. Okay, How's your day going? Yeah. No. 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 Hi. Hi. No. What do you want to say to everybody? No. We are just trying to no. Oh, I thought you wanted a Silly hat, huh? Silly boy. Hun. right now? 18 months? 17 months. 17 months. Ryder is... How old are you, Ryder? Four, two, one. No, that's not right. <laughs> Ryder is three, almost four. Four in June. You got it? All right, my new, my new cameraman, Ryder. You got it? I honestly don't know what you want. Can't bait. Can't bait. Jeez. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Hi, guys. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm playing in my room. I was just trying get look at this. You can catch this to this. Really fast, but don't even go this far. Ah, that's the camera. Say hi. 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 So uh, we are 
uh, just clean up here and, and we make a little mess, but it's just we make a mess. But only <laughs> when we touch it, then, then, then it's like... We're so making a mess up here, but it's okay when we make a mess. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did you want Ryder? Oh, but my hands are so fast. So you can run so fast. Ryder decided he wanted to lift some weights. Doing some bench press. So it's about six o'clock. And what time do you usually go to bed? So, uh, three, two, one. I three, two, one? Yeah, I think I do that to bed. Yeah, you ah. think you three, two, one, you go to bed? Yeah, three, two, one. Playing with some Legos. So, this dude usually goes to bed between 6.30 and 7. And Ryder usually goes to bed sometime after that. Sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's 8.30. At this point in the night, we are pretty much Aww, headed Mama towards Aunt, bed. Yeah. Kids yes. have eaten dinner, and mom and dad are gonna have a little dinner after the kids go to bed. Nice little break for us. Mama. We don't do often, but. Mama. No, we don't, Mama, but that's what we're doing tonight. Mama. All right, Rory is headed to bed. What time is it right now? Seven o'clock? <laughs> hey, 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 gets a little crabby as we get closer to bedtime. So this is Rory's room. There's another mural that we did. Kids are going down. EC and I ordered some food from the restaurant that's like right down the street, <sighs> which we usually don't do. Usually we would have dinner as a family, but tonight we just felt like doing something a little different. So we're gonna get takeout, and then we'll just probably watch a little TV show. I gotta just flip a few pots over in the studio. Pretty much every night, if I throw pots during the day, then. I will have pots to flip over. So then I'll flip a bunch of pots over in the studio, cover them so that I can work on them tomorrow. Otherwise they would get too dry, so I just cover them with plastic. And that's it. It's been, so it's seven o'clock now. I will probably be in bed sleeping by 8.30, nine o'clock at the latest, because it was a long day. And tomorrow will be another one. So it's a good day. Thank you guys for coming along. Appreciate it. Oh, leave me a comment, subscribe, like, all those things. I hope you are doing wonderfully. Comment below and tell me if you got something out of this video or what you got out of it. So, all right, I'm getting tired, if you can't tell. See you guys in the next video.